Becoming an anesthesiologist assistant is definitely not easy. Students spend two and a half years of rigorous schooling, hands-on operating room training, and traveling all around the country for clinical rotations, all for the chance to sit for the final exam standing in their way of becoming a certified anesthesiologist assistant, the NCCAA certification exam, or the board exam for short. This is no ordinary exam. The board exam is hard and the board exam is important. In case you're new here, my name is Jesse. I'm preparing to start my anesthesia schooling. And I started this channel to give you all an insight into this awesome career and help you all on your own journey to become an anesthesiologist assistant. On this channel, I have seen a lot of comments regarding the CAA board exam, how hard it is, how it's formatted, and how anesthesia students go about studying for it. In this video, we're going to go over all of this and more and give you everything that you need to know about the NCCAA board exam. But before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a video that I put out. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm beyond thankful for all of you who help support my channel. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. Before we can get much further, we need to know what the board exam actually is. All information in this video is straight from the National Commission for Certification of Anesthesiologist Assistance website, or the NCCAA for short. I know, it's a mouthful. The purpose of the NCCAA certification exam is to assess entry-level cognitive and deductive skills of the anesthesiologist assistant. There are a wide range of subjects that the board exam is designed to test, including physiology, pharmacology, instrumentation, perioperative management, emergency situations, and various other topics within anesthesia. The exam is a total of 180 questions divided into two 90 question sections. Students have 110 minutes to complete each section, roughly 73 seconds to complete each question. There is also an optional 15 minute break between the sections. So for all of my MCAT people out there, this exam comes out to roughly four hours, which is about half the time designated for the MCAT exam. The exam is multiple choice and it is pass fail with a fluctuating passing score around 60 to 70%. Within the 180 test questions, 30 of them are pre-test questions, which are not considered in your final score as these questions are being tested to see if they can be eventually used as a real exam question. So in reality, only 150 questions will actually determine your final score. Students will commonly take this exam during their final year of the program with the goal of being certified as soon as possible to begin working after graduation. However, NCCAA official policy is that students have six attempts at the exam in the two years following the date of their graduation. Fortunately, most students have no problem passing this exam on the first go around with a 92.2% first time pass rate as reported by the NCCAA. Many AA programs also include on their website pass rate data for their graduating classes, and these often hover around 100%. The common sentiment is that although the exam is not something to take lightly, if you can handle the rigors of anesthesia school, you have all the tools necessary to pass the board exam. So now that we've got a pretty good idea about what the board exam is all about, how do students actually go about studying for this extremely important exam? As an incoming student, this was obviously something that I was really curious about. And after reaching out and speaking to other other current student anesthesiologist assistants, I got a wide variety of different answers about how students study for the board exam, which absolutely makes sense. Different students have different study habits that work best for them, and it's vital that you have that figured out before you enter into a program. For more on that, go check out this video here. Flashcards, group study sessions, and even artificial intelligence were all different ways various students described their studying experiences in school. However, between all students I talked to, there was one common denominator that I heard again and again. To preface, when I started studying for the MCAT, I was fortunate enough to have a ton of resources to help me prepare for that exam, including practice exams and question banks that made a huge difference in improving my score over time. And naturally, I wanted to know if the anesthesiologist assistant students had similar resources for their board exam. As I quickly found out from seeing how current students and practicing CAAs prepared for this exam, the NCCAA exam has its own gold standard question bank used by students year after year. True Learn. Again, for my MCAT folks, UWorld is to the MCAT what TrueLearn is to the AA board exam. However, TrueLearn is not just a question bank, it is a smart bank. That means that this program is not simply a list of questions and answers. TrueLearn includes tons of awesome features to help you rapidly improve and learn in preparation for the board exam. Some of these features include detailed, high quality explanations for every question, including explaining why every wrong answer is incorrect. With TrueLearn, you also have the ability to create custom quizzes that test you on topics you might be weaker in. Leading up to your exam, you can see detailed metrics on your strengths and weaknesses in your performance dashboard, which keeps tracks of your performance in relation to other AA student peers across the nation. I use other programs with these kind of metrics such as Duolingo, Halo, or Bookly, and these really help me see my progress and encourage me to keep going. TrueLearn has no shortage of these valuable analytics that keep you motivated as you study for the board exam. All right, everybody, so right now I am on the TrueLearn website. I am on my dashboard for my profile, and I wanna go over some of the amazing features that TrueLearn offers as you guys are preparing for your NCCAA certification exam to become a certified 
certified anesthesiologist assistant. So right now I'm on my dashboard. Right now what I can see is a lot of the big picture information. You know, I've only taken one short quiz. It was only 10 questions long, but it gave me some data that I can show you guys that we can work with here. I've taken 10 total questions. I got a seven out of 10 on that one. So I'm, I've got my 70% total here and that will slowly adapt and change over time as you answer more questions and take more quizzes and practice exams. And we also have the percentile here. So this is going to show you how well you are doing compared to your peers and if you are on track to do well for the actual certification exam. Also, you can create your own tests. Say you could even like create simulation exams. Let's say that you wanted to simulate one section of the board exam. You could do a 90 question section there and you can practice you know how exactly that's going to feel on exam day which is really important to practice what you are actually going to do on exam day and building up that test taking endurance all my MCAT homies know you got to build up that test taking endurance uh, I think this is kind of cool we can take a look at the 10 question quiz that I did earlier here we can see I got a 70% a 7 out of 10 I can see that overall students using this these 10 questions on TrueLearn average 77.4% so I'm a little bit behind that but that is okay we're going to improve and we're going to get better. So as we can see here, if we exit out of this, we can see what really I think makes TrueLearn special and what sets TrueLearn apart from a lot of other question banks. It's sort of like UWorld. In UWorld, uh, I remember when I would take UWorld exams and I would get a question wrong. It would tell me not only why the correct answer was correct, but also why the incorrect answer was incorrect. So let's see if we can find an incorrect question here. Uh, here we go. So uh, we're dealing with a patient with tachycardia. I don't know a lot about pharmacology or, or you know, different kinds of drugs, but I do know that Esmolol is going to lower the heart rate, broadly speaking. And so I saw Esmolol just pop that bad boy in there. And, and of course, it's going to be incorrect. As we can see, the correct answer here is cardioversion. But it doesn't just explain why cardioversion is correct. It does a really good job of doing that here. It gives you these detailed descriptions. But it also tells you why Esmolol is incorrect. It does say that it can be used to slow and terminate supraventricular tachycardia. However, it might not be the best response. And it explains why a cardioversion might be more efficacious. And it goes into great detail. So not only have I learned something about cardioversions, but I've also learned something something about Esmolol here. And you're going to build, uh, basically in that, that way, you're going to build twice as much knowledge, not only learning about correct answers, but also learning about information in the incorrect answers that most of the time you might just gloss over and you might not pay as much attention to. I think that goes a long way as you're preparing for something that is as information dense as an anesthesia board exam might be. Man, we've got a couple questions here that I think are really, are really good. This is one about um, the aging process and cardiovascular changes. One thing that I remember from the MCAT exam is that as you get older, you're going to have decreased compliance in your arteries and in your vascular system. That's going to be a result of the aging process. So this is something that I recognized and got correct, but I'm a very visual learner. And one thing that I like about TrueLearn is that they make an effort to put these graphs and these visual cues in here so that I can internalize the information a little bit better, especially if I am a visual learner. So there's that one. We'll probably go over a couple more here. Um, this is one that I remember seeing stuff like this on my MCAT exam. We're going over oxygen delivery and hemoglobin and you know CO2 release. And again, we've got a nice little graph that shows us partial pressure. This is something that I remember learning about in, uh, you know, working as an anesthesia tech is the different types of anesthesia. You've got general anesthesia, you've got monitored anesthesia care or MAC cases. You've got different levels of, of analgesia. You've got deep sedation, moderate sedation. There's a little bit of everything here. Like I said before, you've got just about everything on this exam. These questions are going to cover instrumentation, perioperative management, emergencies. It's going to give you real life scenarios that you might encounter when you are a practicing anesthesiologist assistant. You guys can kind of see a couple questions here and get an idea for why TrueLearn really is awesome in my opinion is that it gives you detailed breakdown that shows you how many people answered different questions. Let me see if I can find one that I got wrong here. 76% of people got this question right but uh, but I chose one where still 10% of people were choosing this answer and I can kind of see which questions might have more of tricky language if, if there's a really high amount of people choosing a wrong answer. You can find these language and these cues that you can look out for uh, when you're taking the actual exam. There you go with TrueLearn. Amazing amazing resource. We can also go to performance here. This doesn't have enough data because I haven't done enough questions to give me a lot of data up here at the top. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see here how I'm doing in uh, clinical management questions and, you know, phys physiology and knowledge questions. And you can see my correct versus incorrect here. And also we've got a percentile here. So I can see that right now I'm in the 70th percentile roughly. We can even zoom in on that and we can get even into the nitty gritty of how well I'm doing compared to my peers. So these are the kind of analytics that really help encourage me to see where I'm at compared to the people around me and give me that 
encouragement to know that I can do well and that all of us are going to be able to do well on the certification exam. I think that's one of the really amazing things that comes with TrueLearn and why I'm excited to partner with them and, uh, and help you guys study for your AA board exam. TrueLearn has incredible resources for anesthesiologists assistant students getting ready for their board exam. However, TrueLearn doesn't just stop there. They have tons of different resources and smart things for many different medical exams. If you're a medical student studying for USMLE Step 1, TrueLearn has you covered. If you're a DO medical student preparing for the Comlex, again, TrueLearn has you covered. Even if you are a nursing student preparing for the NCLEX or a PA student studying for PANTS, TrueLearn has smart banks and practice exams for all of these and many more. If you are an AA student wanting to get an edge in studying for the board exam, head to the link in the description below and sign up using the code Hayward. That's H-A-Y-W-A-R-D, Hayward, for $25 off the anesthesiologist assistant practice exam, along with discounts on other select practice exams. A big thanks to TrueLearn for partnering with me to help me make this video and help you all have the resources you need to succeed in anesthesiologist assistant school. So with all that being said, the NCCAA certification exam can absolutely be daunting. I know many prospective students feel this way from how many comments I see asking about it. It's the last thing standing in your way of becoming an anesthesiologist assistant. I completely get it. However, I truly believe that if you refine your study habits, utilize your peers and professors at every step of the way, and know what resources are out there, such as TrueLearn, you can absolutely crush the board exam and achieve your goal of becoming a certified anesthesiologist assistant. That's going to do it for this video. Again, big shout out to TrueLearn for all the amazing work that they do in helping student anesthesiologist assistants out there, and for partnering with me to make this video possible. Be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe so you never miss a video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.